Uh, my next guest stars in the UPN series Veronica Mars, and this Saturday she'll be seen in Showtime's musical version of Reefer Madness. Let's take a look. I feel a little naughty. Baby, I'll help you relax. <laughs> I'll tie you up with phone cord. We'll play with whips and nipple clips and candle wax. Now hold on, Mary Sunshine. Let's not get carried away. Just call me Mary Wanna. And Mary's got some scary little games to play. All right, then. Please welcome Kristen Bell. <laughs> that is, uh... That is some outfit you're wearing in that clip. That uh, that yeah. leather number, not the other one. The uh, the the what is that? Yeah. What do you call that? Is it's that... a pleather tight, forty five minutes to put on. Really? Very uncomfortable outfit. Yeah. Right, but the effect is very uh, is very nice. It's it... uh, it's it's very effective. It's a good. That's what we were going for. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get now uh, when you have to put on an outfit like that for a number like that? And you're obviously a very beautiful woman, but do you get. Do you get nervous when oh, you have to yeah. wear something like that in I front was, of people? I was really, really, really nervous to wear that because it's very opposite from my personality. I'm just more jeans and a t-shirt kind of thing. And I was, right. it was all giggles when I first saw it. I'm like, oh, I can't take it. Right, right. And I finally put it on, and I was so nervous. And then, but my co-star John Casier, I don't know if you know, saw what he was wearing, but he was wearing a little number, and he had some assless chaps on. So every I think time, they actually pixeled that out too in the clip. I noticed that. I think they had to haze over his. For the better. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but every time that he would see me going, he would just turn around and remind me that he was wearing assless chaps and I, that I wasn't, and then I'd feel great about it. Couldn't the whole he just thing. tell you that without going, huh? No, Check he wanted, that out. He wanted to do it. Right there. It was part of the thing. Yeah, he's clearly got a problem. Um, <laughs> now, of course, Reefer Madness uh, is, uh, it deals with uh, marijuana. Yeah. And I'm curious, uh, when you've performed this uh, as part of a stage show, as you performed it live, do you, are the, is the audience, do you think that they're ever, are there people who are high in the audience because they've been attracted by the subject matter? I'm, I'm pretty sure there were a few people partaking. I mean, I don't know necessarily that th that was an excuse. I don't think stoners are looking for an excuse to do it. But, right, um, right. They, they yeah. actually if only I had an excuse know, right? to get high. But they came, uh, they would come dressed up as the part, which right. was kind of cool, like Rocky Horror, but they would also like sometimes throw things on stage and that, was, that wasn't cool. Could you, uh, I mean, also, you, it's a distinctive smell, so you can tell if anyone's been in the vicinity oh, yeah. of smoking oh, pot. Oh, yeah. Because when we're here, when we're taping shows and Snoop Dogg and his entourage are here, <laughs> you can smell it like nine blocks away. Yeah. Other talk shows have to stop taping because yeah. Snoop Dogg is here. I've seen him get out of a limo before, too, and you're just like, whoa, I gotta sit down. Yeah, it looks like it's on fire when yeah. he gets out. Yeah. Um, I shouldn't have said that. Maybe he doesn't smoke pot at all. <laughs> <laughs> That just saved me a lawsuit, no? <laughs> now you um, you went to uh, hmm? you went to Catholic school. Yes. Uh, and and Catholic school, I did. I had I had Catholic instruction growing up, but I went to regular public schools. But I'm told at Catholic school, it's pretty strict. Is that hardcore. right? Hardcore. It's hardcore. Yeah. And we and uh, the what? outfits there were. Awful. You had yeah. to, what kind of, I mean, is it the, is it the standard sort of Catholic schoolgirls yeah, outfit that I fantasized about? Is what you, yeah, but what you fantasize about is what you see, like, in the movies, and that's not at all. It's like these awful, awful skirts, so we would always roll them up, like, right. really high, and, right. like, cut the tops off, but we were, they were really strict, so... Unfortunately, were, the way to get back at us was in the lunchroom, they could call what's called a pop can test. Pop can and test. And it sounds really dirty, but what they would do is any of the teachers or the nuns would be able to say, get on your knees, and if your, uh, if your skirt didn't touch the pop can, you got a detention. Oh, they'd put a pop can down, yeah. and, and, and it had to, it had to your, your, from your knee up, had to be... It had to, t it had to be, like, well over the pop can. Because I didn't know how the pop can came in. I thought if, it, if your skirt was too long, they it's smashed it over your head Don't or something. Forget the pop can. Forget the pop can. It's just a pop can. How does that work? It's like uh, a measurement thing. Like, your skirt can't be higher than this much above your knees, because we were, we were... It, this was the whole clueless right, thing. It was right. really nice to be wearing those in the... Everyone wanted to look like uh, Alicia Catholic. Silverstone, kind yeah. of. Now, yeah. did you ever think about getting, uh, if you go to like an appliance store, they make those electric rollers that go up and down. 
you could have an electric device that probably raised and, like, and lowered mm -hmm. the height of your Catholic skirt automatically. Like if a cute guy walked in, I'd just go. Mm -hmm. And it would make a really loud, distracting electric noise. That'd be great. And then he'd look. Yeah, and then uh, you'd see the teacher coming around and be like, all oh, systems <laughs> down. <laughs> These are the things I think about a lot. I wish I'd known. That's why I'm very lonely. Um, now, I understand you're shooting a horror film now, and you're shooting it in, uh, or Romania. you're going to start shooting it and in, in, in Romania? Romania, yeah. I'm leaving, wow. yeah, leaving to shoot it in Romania. A very, very scary horror movie. It's another Japanese remake, like The Ring or The Grudge, sure, and sure. it's uh, very scary. Now, are you someone who scares easily? Do you do you uh, you do? Yeah, and I'm kind of do I'm doing it to get over it. But I th I think that it just since I was a little kid, and it's partly due to my parents and my mother mainly because she just taunted me all the time. What and, do you mean? Well, we were I for one specific instance I remember we're sitting watching the X Files and there was uh, that that Liver Man episode where the guy would seep through the grates and suck your liver out or something. Oh my God. And I, I was like 14. I was really. But it was scared. an orthoscopic procedure. It was painless. It was amazing. Yeah. And I wanted to go upstairs. And I said, please come with me. She said, no. So I finally went upstairs by myself and I came back down and, I'm, and you have to get through the dining room to get to the den. Right. And I'm walking through and all of a sudden she grabs my leg from under the table and she screams, liver man. And I. <laughs> this I is was, your mom? <laughs> yeah. She's crazy. Yeah. I immediately was in tears. Yeah, so to yeah. this day, if you jump out from behind the fridge or behind a corner, I will immediately start bawling. Right, right. So That's, please yeah. don't do it. Yeah, your mom. Someone's got to talk to your mom. She's probably like, Liverman, Liverman. <laughs> ah! And she's like, I'll oh, get over it. <laughs> Pretty much. Wow. All right, I'll talk to her. I'm very influential. Thank you. Uh, Veronica Mars airs Tuesday nights at 9 mm -hmm. on UPN. And Reefer Madness premieres this Saturday night at 8 on Showtime. Yes. All right, good luck to you. Thanks a lot for Thank being you. here. We'll take a break. Kristen Bell, everybody. When we come back, Duran Duran. We'll see you in a